Um, well, I was working on the independent scene in the Tampa Bay area, and that's where Randy lived. And so I got to know a lot of people, and I, I wouldn't say I was like super well known, but you know, it's a small enough town, and I worked enough on the weekends that people started to know me. And um, one of the people on the shows or the indie shows was Lanny Poffo, who is Randy Savage's brother. And we became acquaintances and eventually friends. And so Randy was mentioning to Lanny, like, hey, I need somebody to teach my girlfriend some wrestling moves. Do you know anybody? And Lanny is like, oh, you should ask Nora. So that's why, that's how I met Randy Savage was really through Lanny. Um, and then I just thought I was going to be spending a couple of weeks teaching his girlfriend to wrestle. Like, I didn't think that he would invite me to come on TV with him. And then, boom, I was in WCW. I mean, like, when he invited you to come on, was it, like, did, was it his way of wanting to bring you in to, as, to wrestle? Or was it the whole idea to be Miss Madness, to be a valet? So I don't think he knew what to do with me exactly. But um, Stephanie, who was his girlfriend, she played Gorgeous George. She um, she was like, gosh, I feel so bad that I get to be on TV. And then here's this girl that knows all these wrestling moves and she really likes it and she's not on TV. And and so it was, I think she was the one that said to Randy, like, hey, we should bring her on the show with us. And um, I, I don't think he knew what I would be doing or what, he knew I knew how to wrestle. Um, I think he was in a season of his life where as many gimmicks and pomp, you know, and circumstance, you know, whatever all these like, as yeah. much drama to hide the fact that he wasn't in the same athletic capabilities that he was in the eighties, you know, so it's still a way to have that star power to still put on a good show, but to have enough distractions to, um, to, to not maybe notice that he doesn't run the ropes as fast or whatever type of thing. So he asked me if I would be part of the entourage and, um, and I said, yes, you know, I, I, I was excited. I couldn't believe it. But then I also thought, well, how am I going to fit in? with this girl who's, you know, drop dead gorgeous. And then he, you know, like, I'm just uh, this average. Oh, like, stop oh, you're gorgeous too. <laughs> well, now I know how to put on the fake eyelashes and the, <laughs> you know, bleach my teeth and rub on, you know, like I know, now I know how to do it to like make it, you know, whatever, accentuate my assets. But back then, I mean, I just didn't wear much makeup and I don't really have like luxurious hair. I don't have long legs. I don't, have fake knockers you know i'm just like <laughs> i'm just like average you know so um but stephanie told randy he's like don't worry you know we'll fix her up so she dyed my hair platinum blonde um put me in sparkly outfits showed me all the tricks of the trade to to look glamorous and you know i pulled it off okay 